you're going to need your supplies, paper, paint, pencil, everything else. Um, how many of you have started already? Let me know in the chat. Have you started already? Oh, Imani's done. Yes, I've seen yours. It was amazing. Did you fix those flowers a little bit? Because they needed a little bit more um, like highlights and little bits of shadows. But overall, it's an A. <laughs> All right, good. Uh, question. Would you rather... Let me get this out of the way. Would you rather not be able to taste or not be able to see colors? What do you think? Uh, yes, Imani, go ahead. You need to turn it in into the assignments tab. Go to tools and assignments in the on my homepage. Not being able to see colors. Okay, so everything will be like gray and stuff. Both are depressing, but I'd rather not see color. That's kind of scary if you can't taste. Like that happened to me once. I don't know. Both, yeah, both are kind of. This is a depressing question. <laughs> this is like after Valentine's blues, right? All right, boo for Valentine's. Okay. How are you feeling today? <laughs> I choose neither. Uh, use your whiteboard pointer to let me know how you feel. I feel like a five. Yeah. Yesterday was insane. It was like a five, six. But I am feeling better. And by Friday, I will be a number one. Yeah, I've been sick. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, I, I didn't have my voice. And yesterday, I kept coughing. But you know what? Today, I feel a lot better. I'm not even coughing. And I can talk. So that means uh, I'm getting better. Do I have a, I have a cat in here? Okay, let's keep on going. Uh, agenda, let me turn this off. Uh, Norm, studio day is today. If you have done your project, there are other choices that you can do. A reminder, this is due Thursday, which is tomorrow uh, by midnight. If you're not completely finished and need extra time, I can wait till Friday. But what happens on Monday? On Monday zeros go in on monday zeros go in okay all right teeks i understand how to create realist painting and an impressionist painting i'll listen closely to what my teacher and classmates say so i can learn new words expressions and language patterns all right uh let's see what you were talking about you can find your phone yes <laughs> uh not not right now leave right now Okay. Uh, anybody want to get on the mic? Rock the mic for me. Anybody? I think I'd do it. Okay, Xander. Thank you. All right. So, so hello, I'm a norm. So, 100% presentation, 100% professionalism, 100% of the time. You are valued in this course. We are so glad that you are here. All right. Thank you, Xander. All right. Anybody like this here? Look what Norm has. You guys like French fries? I love French fries. I absolutely love French fries. Oh, Galileo, you wanted to read. Uh, that's okay. You read every day anyway, so you're good. You're good. So now I gotta put I gotta put Galilea and Xander on a drawing to see which one is gonna win uh, a prize. All right, and that will be at the end of the of the of the month so keep on reading those uh those norms all right yes curly fries i like regular fries especially from whataburger okay reminders uh guys your project to do on okay now it says friday what's going on uh let's say thursday but if you have to turn it in friday that's cool and no school on monday why is there no school on monday Anybody? President's, President's Day. President's Day. It's on Monday. So no school. Do not show up on Monday. We will not have class on Tuesday 
either you come you come in i guess you do your work and sign in but we don't have class on tuesday but it will be an open office session for all art students it is optional not required please come in if you need help with anything like your paintings uh writing essays your tests you need help with that you're struggling you want to get an a you want to get a passing grade come see me on tuesday i will be available all day next week we'll start unit five modern art yes okay fine art studio day let's get to work you should have all your stuff with you uh let's see you can work on your unit four paintings if you're finished, uh, do some of the enrichment activities. Uh, if you need help with your painting project, now is the best time to get it. I'll be here answering questions all class period. Okay, let me go ahead while you guys are working, because you should be working right now. I'm going to post these links into the chat, so hang on. All right, here are the FAQ instructions. Okay. If you don't want to paint, you don't have to. You can actually write a, an essay. So the essay must be at least nine sentences. So if you like writing, you can do that one. Okay? If you like writing, you could do that one. And I do need to post a link for that. If you want the alternate alternative assignment or alternate assignment, uh, right here this is the alternate assignment these are the faqs you know how do i what do i need to do how do i do it it's all right there you click on that that should already be in the announcements and these are going to be the extra activities for those of you who are finished and you need something to do voila there it is Let's continue. What questions do you have before we get started? Put them on the on the chat, okay? Guys, how many of you know how to turn in the projects? Do you know where to go? Do you know where to go? Let me know in the chat. Say yes or no, I don't know. I, I'm still struggling. How do I turn things in? Okay, I'm going to show you real quick. Maybe we're working. Uh, I hope you are. And there it is. Okay, so I'm sharing my screen now. And I'm going to make myself a student. Here we go. Okay, so I'm a student. I come in into Mr. Campos's awesome class. And I don't know how to turn my things in. So I have a picture of it. Make sure it's a JPEG because that's the best way to view it easy you go to this red banner i always tell you guys go to the red banner this is the red banner you go to tools you go to assignments and then there should be unit 4.05 teacher graded assignment you click there and then you add the file the picture you can put your name or whatever you want but this is where you go and add the file and you click submit. Okay. If it has nothing to do with art, don't just turn it in thinking I'm going to give you an A and not even look at it. That's not true. I do look at them. It's just been a very busy week, but I will look at them. Trust me. I did it last semester. I'll do it again. Okay. Let me stop the share and we'll go back to my playlist here. All right, so uh, we do have a little bit of time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little quick demo on how to shade an orange in the realism style. Realism, not post or or expression or impressionism or post-impressionism, because uh, that's pretty easy to do, but I'm going to do it in realism style. And in realism style, you do have to blend colors and use those natural earth neutral colors that I was talking about, which are white, black, uh, browns, and grays. Okay, so I am going to share my screen one more time. And start sharing the screen. 
And this is a, a quick little demo. All right. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you guys can see it. Uh, if you can't, please let me know in on the mic because I cannot see you right now. Okay, so I'm going to create an orange. You see what happens here? This these are supposed to be apples. They do need to be smoother, but I did it very quickly. Uh, as you can tell, here's a, a highlight by using lots of water and 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 uh, mixing it with white and orange lighter colors here here you mix it with black or gray or browns okay to create shadows so shadows on one side highlights on the other shadows on one side highlights on the other same thing i'm going to do my highlights here and my shadows there and the first thing i want to do i want to make that hue of orange okay i don't have any orange so i can mix yellow and red you want to use mostly yellow because red is a very powerful color and it tends to override. You don't want that to happen. Okay, that's a pretty nice orange. Okay. And then you can always put a little bit of water to dilute it a little bit. Pretty good. Make sure you, your, your brush strokes are smooth. Uh, there we go and then around this area i'm going to kind of leave it alone a little bit not touch it too much i'm probably going to wet the brush uh maybe i should use a different brush i'm going to use a smaller one here i'm going to come back there later what i want to do is i want to mix my orange now uh, you can mix it with black, or you can mix it with a brown. I have brown here. This is going to be for the shadows. So I'm taking that orange, mixing it with the brown, because in realism, you do mix before you apply. Okay, So I'm mixing it here, applying it there. So since my light source is coming here on the top right, Shadows are going to be on the bottom left. So there is a nice shadow here. And I start bringing it inside. Okay. It's still not dark enough. So I'm just going to add just flat, plain brown on top of it. And since this is an orange, it's round. I'm going to go in kind of a circular motion i'm going to go even darker here by just putting brown maybe i'll even add a little shadow here like it's sitting somewhere on a table see that i'm going to go back and It's pretty good. Okay. Sort of realistic. And I'm going to put some brown here on the stem. And you can even add little dots for texture. Okay. It's not amazing, but I did it pretty quickly. Okay. Now I'm going to clear my brush. Always have a paper handy. Clear that brush, and now I'm going to put white in that highlighted area. But it looks, it's too white here. So what do I need to do? I'm going to blend it with orange. Maybe even yellow. Yeah, I think I think just yellow and white would will do. Okay. Start bringing those highlights little bit further out that's pretty good it's pretty bright though and I'm gonna go ahead and lighten that up even more with a little bit of orange like that close that up here on the corner 
And voila, look at that. Pretty nice. I'm going to go back, add orange. Okay, and I'm done. Look at that. What do you guys think? It was cool. That is pretty real sick. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, thank you. It's not even uh, it's not even great. I just did it in like a minute or two. If I were to do it carefully, yes, it would look even better. Um, and I can even do this Apple a lot better. But it's just a demonstration of of, of blending and, and things like that. Uh, so this is my orange. Let it dry. Once it's dry, you can add uh, with a very, very small brush, some tiny little dots for texture. So remember, uh, large areas will use large brushes and small details, smaller brushes. Okay. I also teach little kids and they tend to take the same brush for everything and <laughs> And that's not how you're supposed to do it, but I know you guys know better. All right, so I'm going to stop. Well, I'm not even sharing the screen. I'm, <laughs> I'm just talking without sharing. Oh, Lord. Okay. Let's see. Playlist, chat. And where am I? Still? There we go. Okay. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Michael <Lynn. laughs> Thank you, Galilee. Thank you, Mani. Thank you, Danny. Thanks, uh, Xander. Thanks, everybody. Okay, so we have uh, the FAQs here. Um, and I think we also talked about, if you look at my screen here at the bottom, we did talk about uh, blending hues, pure colors with, oh, right here, pure colors with white, gray and black okay the same thing that i did with the orange is what what's happening here um we did go over this see the realism versus the impressionism or post-impressionism uh neutral colors blended here versus vivid wild colors splattered and dash you can also do a portrait Okay, it doesn't have to be still life like we did last semester. You have more choices this time, and that's that's cool. All right, so FAQs, I think I posted that already. Um, yes, we discussed this last time. You have to do two paintings. Okay, in the last five minutes, guys, I have a an exit ticket that I need you to fill out. It is not for a grade, but it is required for data and information so i will give you uh, i will give you that in the last five minutes so we have a couple minutes left okay i already showed you how to turn it in you go to that red banner tools assignment and add file let me go right here add file and please please make sure it's a jpeg those are the best ones best ones to correct okay yeah, make sure it's a JPEG. Uh, PDF, maybe, but JPEG is the easiest one. Okay, and this, if you are already done and you want to learn about the 10 most famous Impressionist, Impressionist paintings, I will give you that in the chat. Where is it? Right here. There you go. It's going to be the exit ticket. I'll give it to you in a second. This little cat here. All right.
Yeah, so so far I got I got Galilea and Xander. Um we're gonna you entered in the drawing for rocking the mic, and I will announce it at the end of the month, which one won, because I have to pick a a name from a bowl. If you win, you have to tell me which store you like. Hey, what are you doing? I think I'm going to go ahead and play this for a little bit. And then at 55, I will give you your exit ticket.
All right, guys, you see how blotchy this painting looks? It looks like it was scribbled. So if you do something kind of like that, that's actually okay for impressionism. But you have to choose a subject that exists, okay? So like a river or uh, a lake or your, your grandma, you know, your pets. It could be still lives, fruits, uh, things that exist, okay? All right, so let's go back here, and it is 156, and what I'm asking you to please do right now is to go ahead and, and uh, do this exit ticket before you leave. You have to do this, okay? So if you're like, oh, I'm ready to go, well, before you're ready to go, click on that exit ticket. Uh, it's just a couple of questions. If you don't really understand, maybe I can give you a hint. But I really shouldn't give you a hint. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Just just go ahead and do it. Put your name. Um, yeah, how many paintings do you create for this project? You should know that already. What styles are you creating? Where do we turn in our project? Yes, you should know this already. And it, it won't count against your grade, so don't worry about it. Wait, so the painting has to be something real? Well, Lydia, it has to be something that exists, okay? So you can't do, like, uh, an anime character. You know, it has to be, like, a, a real person that exists, you know? Or even a person that you see on a magazine. You want to you wanna paint your celebrity that you like, your famous singer? You can do that. Uh, hey, we're doing that. <laughs> no, Xander, we're we're not. We're just kidding. Okay, I see that over here. Yes, I know. Okay. Uh, can we choose one? We have to do two of them. Uh, Nissy, you have to do two. You have to remember. I I explained this right here. You have to do one that is realism and one that is impressionism or post impressionism. So there are two paintings that you must do. It's not just one, it's two. Can they be in an unreal setting? Like, what do you mean? Like in, sp uh, like in space or some kind of dimension that doesn't exist? Uh, I don't think so. It has to be like maybe buildings in the back or maybe trees, something that exists. Well, it, you can make it up, right? You can make it up, but it has to, you have to include like trees and things that, things that exist. You know what I mean? So it can't be a tree like made out of tentacles. It has to be a regular tree. Yes, when you finish the exit ticket, you may leave, but that's what the exit ticket is for. Once you finish the exit ticket, you can leave, but please, please. Take care of that right now. Do the exit ticket. Remember, two paintings, things that uh, that exist, that can exist, fruits exist, a table exists, a vase exists, animals exist. If you have any more questions, please ask me right now or forever hold your peace. All right. Okay, how many of you have done the exit ticket? I'll give you one more minute before I shut this down. Bye, lady. Have a good day. Thanks, Imani. Thanks, Galilea. Adios. See you later. Done. Peace, everybody. I'm going to put it one more time for you guys if you didn't get it. Exit ticket here. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day.